Saitak Green. Welcome back to my channel, Saitak Green. Today's we'll try to uh, talk about what are the top five major changes which has happened in the IQ7 device after the recent software update. So, yes, friends, just a couple of days back, I mean, exactly two days back, I did receive the update in this IQ7 device, and after the update, there are lot of, lot of things got improved in this phone. And make sure to comment below, friends, in case if I forgot any of the improvements. So, definitely that will be helpful for me, even for a lot of other users. Definitely make sure to comment, and I'll try to uh, inform five what are the top five major changes it did happen in this iq7 device particularly so let me need to show you exactly the what kind of software version i'm trying to run slightly limited decrease of brightness so that's a little bit yep now it should be kind of okay so is the exact uh, version which i did receive as you can see friends 1.72.9 this is a software update which i have received so two days back and after the update the first major thing uh, I did observe in the IQ7 device, absolutely you know that answer which is the 4G place. So as friends, after the update I was able to get the 4G place in my studio room. That is the first major thing which I will definitely agree in this IQ7 device. Not only me, lot of other users also, they did comment under my videos saying that they are getting the faster 4G speeds and better of 4G place coverage as well inside the rooms, inside indoor type of conditions. So while they are using the IQ7 device. So in case if you are not having this kind of experience, so make sure to comment, comment below. So this is a sim which I'm trying to use is a Geo sim card. So using the Geo sim card only I'm trying to save friends not with the Airtel. With the Airtel I'm not getting any 4G place. So with the V it's not in my town it's not possible with the V itself. So with the Geo sim it's really got improved in the IQ7 device. So that's the first major uh, thing which I did notice after the recent software update in this IQ7 smartphone. And the second major thing which a lot of users they did notice is that uh, it's adding the voice changer. Yes, friends, after the recent software update, finally we was able to get the voice changer in the in this IQ7 device. So which I was waiting for a very very long time because IQ Z3, which has got the voice changer uh, after the phone got released. So out of the box, I did get the voice changer, but in the IQ7 device, I did not get the voice changer, and I was waiting really desperately for this kind of voice changer to uh, experience this kind of feeling. How, how I'm I was able to use in the IQ device because previously I did use only in the MIUI regarding this voice changer but right now in this phone we were able to use a voice changer which is fantastic friends that's also another good advantage but there's a couple of things to know so using this voice changer some users are complaining that uh, when you try to when I try to use this voice changer and play the game and opposite my teammates who are my teammates they are able to hear my voice kind of echo so make sure to comment below friends uh, in case if you have those kind of problems maybe double voice and uh, echo voice something so those kind of voices they are trying to hear so do let me know in the comments below in case if you are having any other problems regarding this voice changer particular uh, feature in this IQ7 device because I do want to listen all your feedback which are the real users who are actually using the IQ7 device so not based upon only my review I just want to have all of your reviews on this IQ7 device what is the update in case if there is any other problems make sure to let me know I'll do my best uh, post the videos as soon as possible I'll share my videos even with the IQ team as well to make it happen everything good in this IQ7 device so this is the second thing which is the best happened in this IQ7 device which is the voice changer and the third major thing uh, which has happened, I think only few users might be uh, noticing this thing which is a fast charging. So slightly it got improved friends because uh, as just yesterday, 22 hours ago, I did upload a video on this IQ7 device. So make sure to check that video friends in case if you want to know more details. So in that video, I did a charging test after the recent update and phone got charged from 0 to 100 percentage in uh, 32 minutes friends in 32 minutes or 33 minutes yes so that is what the complete time it took to charge in the iq7 device so from 0 to 100 percentage when the phone is in switch off mode so that is the speed it got so before it used to take about 35 minutes of time 36 minutes of time so these are little bit got changed and make sure to let me know in the comments below friends in case if you are feeling that kind of change or not at least few minutes uh, that's also matters a lot so make sure to comment below is there any improvement or not and the fourth uh, thing which got changed in this phone is the performance. So slightly it got better. Yes, some users did it mention that uh, the, now the IQ7 looks kind of really stable in terms of the opening and closing the applications, which looks really faster as well. That is what few of the users did uh, mention regarding the performance as well while using the normal users. So make sure to comment below friends in case if you feel any differences while using the phone in terms of the performance wise or not. So only the top three things which I can definitely guarantee you that uh, 4G plus got improved and voice change that's obviously you can see 
see that and charging speed also it got improved in my testing and fourth and fifth things are based upon the comments which i got that is what i'm going to mention and the fourth thing that is what i mentioned friends which is a uh, slightly improved the performance in the iq sound device so right now as you can see friends i did feel the 97 percentage of the phone storage has been used as you can see still the phone performs really smoother and better as you can see which which is incredible friends usually in this kind of uh, huge amount of data which got field the phone should be not able to perform like this even the analog benchmark scores and everything everything was work, working as it is normal except this notification everything seems to be completely fine unless i say some to someone only then they will be not able to believe that 97 percent of the storage got filled so performance wise i think maybe slightly got improved but make sure to comment and let me know in the comment section which i'll be definitely reading all the comments for this particular video which i made and the fifth thing is regarding the battery life yes some some people they did mention that uh, the battery life in this iq7 device it's uh, getting like little bit kind of more and some users they did say that battery life is raining so it's kind of mixed feeling friends in terms of the battery life mainly in this iq7 device so that is what uh, that is the reason i did say fourth and fifth comments were based on the comments only on the feedbacks and a lot of users on using the iq7 device so uh, performance and the battery life slightly increased some people they did mention and the temperature slightly i think they are trying to maintain the temperatures really low but i did not see any kind of improvement in my way of testing the iq7 device so i did not see any kind of changes in the in terms of the temperatures and one more thing which is the camera part so regarding the camera as well a lot of users did ask me to uh, test the camera so only for the camera purpose i did went uh, yesterday to outset as well and it upload plenty of videos regarding the camera samples o overall it was really fine even there is a front cam video recording which i uploaded not only front cam even the back camera video sample also i uploaded yesterday so everything things looks uh, really good so no not much issues i would say definitely in terms of the back camera so it was pretty normal friends uh, i did not feel any kind of changes at all in terms of the clarity and everything it looks completely fine uh, in my phone no other issues i would say definitely which is which is quite normal i did not see any kind of uh, major changes happen into this camera after doing the lot of research in this phone for the past two days after the update even the Android benchmark and the CPU throttling applications are completely uh, same as normal so there is nothing much uh, got changed even those applications as well so everything is as, as usual friends nothing nothing is changed even the touch sampling rate is same as it is before 420 years so nothing got affected with this kind of uh, software update so thank you for watching this video friends and don't forget to comment below what are the other changes you did notice in this iq7 device so apart from this one so make sure to comment below friends definitely i'll be waiting for all your comments and definitely i'll try to go through all the comments maybe i may not be able to uh, reply to you all but at least i'll try to read all the comments for this particular video mainly so which i am really interested to see what's of feedback so in case if you miss any kind of features so make sure to comment below and let me know what are the features which i missed in this this kind of update so thank you for watching and seeing the next video friends until then stay tuned for more updates bye